Welcome back to Chapter 4, Section 5, The Coordinate Plane, Part 2. Now we're going to identify the quadrant in which each point is located. So we have a negative x value, that means it's going to be over this way, and we have a positive y value, positive 1 and 1 half, that means it's going to end up being in quadrant number 2. So move through the steps, the x coordinate is going to be negative, check that and the y coordinate is going to be positive check that so what quadrant did we decide it needs to be in that means it's going to be in quadrant two yes it really is that simple to do these problems and now it's going to be your turn to work a problem very similar to the one we just did figure out which quadrant that number is going to be located in go <clears throat> did you figure it out the x coordinate is positive, that means it's going to be on the right hand side of your coordinate plane. The y coordinate is negative, that means it's going to be down. So what coordinate what quadrant is that going to land you in? That's going to land you in quadrant five. Quadrant five is on the right hand side, and it is a negative it is down on the right hand side. I mean, it's not quadrant five, quadrant four. There is no quadrant five. So quadrant four is going to be our correct answer. Easy math. But what if it doesn't land in on a quadrant? What if it lands on the axis and still? Well, we're going to say that the x value is zero. That means it does not move left or right. Your y value is positive, so your graph is going to land somewhere up right here. So let's see what the textbook says to do. The x coordinate has a no, the y coordinate has a non zero number. So the graph lands somewhere on the y-axis. The x-coordinate was 0. So the answer is, yep, we're that smart. Easy math. And now it's going to be your turn to identify what axis this one lands on. If I was to take a wild guess, it's going to be the one that we didn't land on last time. But you pause the video and figure this one out real quick. Did you figure it out? All right. Does it go left or right? Yes, the x coordinate is negative, it's going to go left. Does it go up or down? No, it doesn't. That means it's going to be to the left of the origin on the x axis. It's going to be on the x axis because it does not go up or down. Check your answer. Answer checks. Easy math. The next thing we're going to work on is identifying ordered pairs. In doing this, they want us to watch an animation to learn how to identify ordered pairs of points graphed on the coordinate plane. So, here we go. To identify an ordered pair for a point graphed on the coordinate plane, start at the origin. First, move horizontally toward the point along the x-axis counting the units. Moving left results in a negative x-coordinate value. The value of the x-coordinate of the ordered pair is negative 3. Next, move vertically toward the point, counting the units. Moving up results in a positive y-coordinate value. The y-coordinate of the ordered pair is 4. So the ordered pair for the point is negative 3, 4. Is it just Let's me? identify oh, the on. ordered pair of a point in a different quadrant. First, move horizontally toward the point along the x-axis, counting the units. Moving right results in a positive x-coordinate value. The x-coordinate of the ordered pair is 3. Next, move vertically toward the point, counting the units. Moving down results in a negative y-coordinate value. The y-coordinate of the ordered pair is negative 4. So, the ordered pair for the point is 3, negative 4. Is it just me or did his voice sound totally computer generated? Now the textbook does ask a good question here. When identifying an ordered pair that represents a graphed point, why is it important to graph the horizontal, that's your side-to-side -side movement, from the origin first? 
because your very first value in the ordered pair is going to be that side to side movement, your x axis. So always go side to side first to get your first number in your ordered pair. Up and down comes second to get the second number in your ordered pair. Now it's time for us to take and identify ordered pairs for different points on a graph. So they want us to identify the point, the the ordered pair that names point D, that's point D right there. So let's follow through the instructions and see what they have to say. I'm going to say it's simple. Superman runs before he flies. Run side to side, fly up and down, figure out your ordered pairs. Remember to include your parentheses when writing them because that is how you indicate an ordered pair. Now the first thing the textbook wants us to do is figure out how many units to the right we're going to move from the origin. So I'm going to click show the problem and I can see on my origin, be careful, these are not whole numbers, these are half steps. So that's going to be one half, one, one and one half. So point D is going to be one and one half spaces to the right. So I'm going to write my one and one over two. And what axis is it on? It's all going to the right on the x-axis, okay? Until you reach the vertical line that intersects D, this is the vertical line that intersects D, and the x-coordinate, therefore, is going to be 1 and 1, oops, 1 and fraction, 1 over 2. Hope if I could type properly. Except, check your answers, everything checks. So our x value is going to be 1 and 1 half, Next thing we get to do is find our y value. To find our y value, we're going to move down how many units? We're going to move down one unit. So we're going to just type in a 1 right here because we're only going down one unit. And they may require this to be negative 1, but I don't think so. And then the y coordinate of point D, there you go. The y coordinate is going to be negative 1 because we went down. So we accept that and we're going to check it and both of those check. Therefore, what's your ordered pair going to be? Well, if your y is negative 1, your x is a positive 1 and 1 half, your ordered pair will be parentheses 1 and 1 half, comma, negative 1, close your parentheses. You have to have the, the parentheses here, you have to have a comma there, and you have to have a space after the comma because that's the proper way to write it. If we do a digital test on this and you do not put the space after your comma, it will mark you wrong. If you do not put your parentheses, it will mark you wrong. Easy math. Now the textbook is asked, why is the ordered pair negative one, one and one half incorrect in naming point D? Well, if we did negative one, one and one half, that would mean we would do Superman runs before he flies. We'd go back one first and then we would go up to one and one half and that would actually give us a location of point A, not point D. Now it's time for you to work one. They want you to identify the ordered pairs that represent point A. Remember Superman runs before he flies? Pause the video and answer the question. Did you get it done? All right, point A is located right here. So Superman's gonna run before he flies and give you a hint, we just kind of answered this question a minute ago. So we're gonna start at the origin. We're going to run a negative one. That means that ah, only one possible answer right now, C, because C is the only one that has X listed as a negative one. We're going to fly a positive one and one half. So the ordered pair is gonna be negative one, one and one half check your answer. It really is this simple. Next, we're going to learn about identifying points. Watching the animation to learn how to identify a point graphed on the coordinate plane given the ordered pair. You can identify a point graphed on the coordinate plane using the x and y coordinates of an ordered pair. The first number, the x coordinate, indicates how far right or left to move from the origin. If the x-coordinate is negative, move left. If the x-coordinate is positive, move right. The second number, the y-coordinate, indicates how far up or down to move. If the y-coordinate is negative, move down. 
If the Y coordinate is positive, move up. Identify the point graphed at negative 2, 4. Because the X coordinate is negative 2, move left two units on the X axis. Because the Y coordinate is positive 4, move up four units. Point P is located at negative 2, 4. Identify the point located at 4, negative 2. Start with the X coordinate, 4. Since it is positive, move right four units. Next, since the Y coordinate is negative 2, move down two units. Point R is located at 4, negative 2. Well, okay. Basically, we're just reversing what we did in the last part of the lesson. In that part of the lesson, they gave us the point, and we had to find the ordered pair. Now they've given us the ordered pair, and we get to find the point. Pretty easy. So, let's see what they have to say next. We're going to identify a point located at negative 2, 1 half on the coordinate plane. So we're going to move through the steps. Start at the origin, because the x coordinate is negative, we're going to move to the left. Remember, it's a negative 2 here, and remember the Superman does what? Superman runs before he flies, so we're going to take and move to the left two spaces, which is going to put us right here. At that point, it's pretty obvious what our answer is going to be. And then we're going to move up one half a space. Moving up one half a space is going to be right there. So, start the origin. Because it's negative, we're going to move two units to the left on the x-axis. That's going to be the first thing they did. And that part checked. Excellent. Now, from, from the negative 2, they're going to move one half unit up the y-axis, because the y-axis is your up and down, giving you a positive value, because the y value is positive, and that part checks. That means the point located at negative 2, 1 half, boop, it's going to be R, so we're going to list R as our final answer there. Easy math. Anybody can do this stuff. Superman runs before he flies is really the only thing you need to know. Now it's going to be your turn to take and solve this problem where they want us to take and find point. What are we looking for? Come on, baby. You can do this. Almost there. Very good. Identify the point located at 2, 1 half on the coordinate plane. Go. Did you solve the problem? It's pretty easy to do. Your x axis, your x value is 2, so we're going to start at the origin and we're going to run to 2. And right there, there's only one thing it can be. There's only one thing that's at 2, and that's going to be t. But your y value is a positive 1 half, so we're going to rise up to positive 1 half, making t the point that's located at the ordered pair, 2, 1 half. Check your answer. The answer checks. Easy math. Anybody can do this. I think this will be a good place to stop part two, come back to watch part three on working within the coordinate plane.